to page four. And page four is going to be a like replica of page eight, except I'm only going to do one flap because of the space restriction. This page is only, here it is. Five and a half by five and a half. Five and a half by five and a half, six and a half by five and a half. Let's score that on a half inch on both sides. And then I have this is five and a half by. I need one that's six by five and a half. Okay. And then I'm going to score that at a half inch. And then I'm going to punch this one in a second. This is the pocket, and it is three and a half by five and a half. I'm going to score that at three. And then this is the pocket for the flap, and it is four by two. And it gets scored at a half inch on both sides to make a little pocket. Um, let me put my tag in that page before I lose it. This is page, uh, five tag is five and three quarter by five and three quarter. First thing I do is take my five and a half by five and a half and six and a half by five and a half. We're going to make the pocket. Sun, the sun has went behind clouds, so it may be gone for the day. My filming may be greatly improved from here on out. I use glue on this. I stick my fingers right in it while I'm lining it up. Maybe that's why I use tape. I thought that was a big deal. Just wipe it off. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick him on.
There we go. Now I'm going to punch this one. This punch makes a mess, so I'll move it off to the side there. You can punch as many as you want. This is the one I'm going to punch. I just want it to look like the big page, but small. And with only one flat. So big flap first. And because we it was about the same size as that pocket and we used the um, border punch, it should just line right up with the edge of the pocket and still have room in the back. And then you open it up and you Put the smaller flap on. Here, and that butts right up against this one. Not crookedly. Okay, almost did. Pocket. It's going to be super cute. And I don't remember if I put it on the inside. Yeah, it goes on the inside. goes faster the second time around. Alright, so this one is, let's do, let's do five and three eighths. Yeah, let's do five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And let's do... what I've gotten so far. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this one. So
and then this is going to be, we'll do five by five and three eighths. I already cut up one of each of these sheets, so I still don't like cutting them up, but um, it'll be all right because I've got one of everything. Five by five and three eighths. I want to see how about those puppy paws again? I don't know if I have any. That's all I have. I can use that on this pocket. Um, that blends in with the background too much. How about this? Nice neutral color. And line up with the inside. change my tape. Okay. So this one is going to be on the back. I cut this one to five and three eighths by four and a half. I probably could have gone like an eighth inch longer this way. And then I have a border strip here, which I just cut from the actual border strip and that was going to fit perfect there <clears throat> and then let's see I want 
I got two strips that are five and three eighths by two and three quarter and yeah that's okay this one I think I'll just put here This one, this has a pocket, so we gotta cut this one down. This is a two inch strip, so we'll cut this at one and three quarter. three pages to go. So this page is going to be like um, this flip pocket here except we're not going to have as many pockets because it's quite a bit smaller. Um, this one measures five by five. So I got one five by five, one six by five. score the six by five and then we have two two and a half by five and a half and those get scored on the short side half inch each because those are our flaps and then our pockets are two by three and a half. And these get scored half inch on both sides and the long side. And I only have four of these. <clears throat> the bigger one had six. together. Score tape out. Okay, and then the two flaps. You know what I did, I forgot to put the tag in this again. <laughs>
I'm going to go ahead and put the tag in this one so I don't forget. this open. We're going to make this one tuck all the way through because they're small enough as it is. At least this way we can make whatever we stick in there a little longer. this here. It is going to be, so it's five by five, so let's do four and three quarter by four and three quarter. Let's do this, this paper again. be the same. That's not long enough. Let's do a green polka dot. We haven't done one.
And then these are two and a half by five, so let's do two and a quarter by four and three quarter. Two different ones because I don't have enough of Paul paper. And I could split them again, but let's just change it up a little bit. Do it that way though. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with these before. These are going to measure two and a quarter by one and three quarter. There we go. Okay, two more pages to go. And this page measures oh, four and a half. So 
have a four and a half by five and a half and a four and a half square. Um, the tag is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, or the big mat that goes in the side. I keep forgetting it, so I'm going to keep it handy. <clears throat> the five and a half inch by four and a half, I score at a half inch on the long side. And that makes our page. When they get this small, they're easy to line up. Go ahead and stick my Page on here. Okay, now put the mat in so I don't forget it. And this is the page that I had problems with the first time. Let's see if I can fix it. So, I think I'm just going to recut these. Um, <clears throat> or wait, hang on. How did I do that? It's this one. Okay, no, this one's okay. I didn't have problems with this one. These two... These two go sideways, but they're not the same. So these two longer pieces And then these two guesses. Okay, let's see here. Oh, measurements. This is five by two and a quarter. Five by two and a quarter.
And then these. are two by four and three eighths. And you just line that gusset up with the bottom and you line it up with the right side so it falls down. And on this one you do the opposite. Line it up with the outside and the top. Fold it over. Lines up with the outside and the top. All right, so double check the page dimensions four and a half by four and a half. We got these cute, uh, I want to do this paper again. Okay, and then on the inside, I'm going to cut it to four and three eighths and then we'll look because <coughs> I'm not sure. I think I'll use this piece. Let's see. That may be a opportune place to do some journaling. Maybe some large journaling. Those lines are huge. Now these are two by four and three eighths, so let's do one and seven eighths. I 
cut four of them. I just use the same paper. Oops. Okay, so this is going to go on the inside. I want the dog bones on the outside. Okay, and then the small ones, or the bigger ones, they're two and an eighth by four and a half. Two. They need to be two. by four and a quarter. Two by four and a quarter. dog bones again. Alright guys, one page left. <laughs> 